Periodontal disease is an infection of the teeth, gums, and the bone that surrounds the teeth. Most people who have periodontal disease aren't even aware of it. It's rarely painful, especially in the early stages. The main cause of periodontal disease is the accumulation of plaque. Plaque is the sticky film of food and bacteria that forms constantly on your teeth. It's hard to see plaque, but look at how it shows up after we've stained it with red dye. You must remove all of the plaque each day, or it builds up and mineralizes to become tartar, which is also called calculus. The blue spots here are tartar. It takes professional help to remove tartar. There's no way for you to remove it at home. A toothbrush or floss won't even budge it. If it isn't removed, it starts to get onto the root surfaces. Tartar shows up on this x-ray as small white lumps on the sides of the teeth. Bacteria that cause periodontal disease thrive here. Bacteria, like the ones in this slide, produce toxins, and it's these toxins combined with your body's reaction to them that destroys bone around your teeth. Some of the warning signs are persistent bad breath, bleeding of the gums when brushing or flossing, soft, swollen, or tender gums, gums shrinking away from the teeth, loose teeth, and changes in the spaces between your teeth which reflect changes in the underlying bone. A person can also have periodontal disease and experience none of these warning signs. The roots of the teeth extend into the bone of the jaw. When everything is healthy, the bone comes up around the necks of the teeth and it's even throughout the mouth. A sulcus is the crevice between the tooth and the gums. A healthy sulcus is two to three millimeters deep. When plaque and tartar invade a sulcus and it becomes deeper than three millimeters, we call it a pocket. Once bone has been lost, it never grows back. When too much bone is lost, there's so little support for the teeth, they get loose and have to be removed. Since you may have periodontal disease yet have none of the symptoms, we perform a thorough examination using x-rays and a periodontal probe to measure bone levels around the teeth. When the bone level falls, the gums pull away from the tooth, forming a pocket. We measure the depth of this pocket with a periodontal probe. The measurement is from the bottom of the pocket, where the gum is attached to the tooth, to the top of the gums. These are healthy gums. They're tight against the teeth, and there aren't any pockets. Now notice the difference with early periodontal disease. In general, the deeper the pockets, the greater the spread of periodontal disease. Bleeding is a sign of infection. Healthy gums don't bleed. We also examine the color and shape of the gums. Notice the pink color and the lightly stippled appearance of the healthy gums, like the surface of an orange. In this case of moderate periodontal disease, we see the red and swollen infection of the gums. The stippling disappeared when the gums became swollen. Look especially close at the difference of the gums between the teeth. This is where periodontal disease usually starts. X-rays tell us a lot about periodontal disease. This is a healthy mouth. The bone comes up high around the necks of the teeth, and it's even throughout the mouth. This is advanced periodontal disease. The bone level is much lower. Notice how uneven the bone levels are compared with the healthy mouth. So now you know how we diagnose periodontal disease. Probe readings greater than three millimeters, bleeding upon probing, swollen and red gums, especially between the teeth, and bone loss or tartar on the x-rays.